Welcome to 6.2 moles to moles conversions. So here is where we are going to use balance equation to find moles of one thing uh, when you are given moles of another thing from the same equation. And just to let you know where we are in the scale of uh, things in stoichiometry, we are up here in 6.2. Please write this down. The first topic is stoichiometry and dimensional analysis problem solving. So what is stoichiometry? We call it stoic for short. It's the relationship between the amounts of products and reactants in a balanced chemical reaction. In other words, you can find amounts. They may be moles, mass, number of particles or volume of one of one substance in a balanced reaction based on the given amounts of another substance but you use the mole to mole ratios of the two substances from the balanced chemical equations now it will become clear to you why i told you you need to learn how to balance equations for the next unit when we were doing unit 5 this process is called stoichiometry so what is dimensional analysis it's the way to find stoichiometry answers. It's a calculation process used in science, hardcore sciences like physics and chemistry, and sometimes even biology to multiply a given value and unit with a series of factors with different units to convert one unit to another to find the value of an unknown quantity or substance. If this sounds like Greek to you, I will show you what it is in a diagram just in a bit. We will be using dimensional analysis to perform all stoic problems and you must write all steps to get full points. If you cut corners, you will get questions wrong. So let's look at stoichiometry overview. Say you have an equation where 2a plus z, these are fake elements uh, gives you a to z so you when you balance it you need two moles of a to get two moles of a here and z is one and one moles so we can consider going between z and moles of a to z so you can go from moles of z to moles of a to z using the balanced reaction mole ratio in this case it would be one mole here and one mole here. That's what we are doing today. But you can do lots of other things. For example, the moles of Z is connected to the mass of Z, number of particles of Z, and later we will learn the volume of Z at standard temperature and pressure, which we call STP. To go between these three things and moles, you use the molar mass here, the Avogadro's number connection here, you know one mole is Avogadro's number and one mole is equal to molar mass. And here at uh, 20, um, 25 centigrade, one mole of a gas has this volume always. You can do the same on this side for the product. And you can go from mass to mass of the other thing, mass to moles of the other thing, mass to volume of the other thing or moles to moles, number of particles to moles, volume to moles or any combination of arrows in this process. This is what stoichiometry and dimensional analysis can do. Okay, now let's go to today's thing. Today we are only learning this one. This is the simplest part. So I write down this second topic, mole to mole calculations. This is the first step in solving any stoichiometry problem. So here are the steps we are going to use to balance the equation and uh, then solve problems. So please write these steps down. And here is our problem. And here is our equation. So it uh, is asking how many moles of O2 gas is required to produce 4.82 moles of water here. So it's between these two things. First thing you do is balance the reaction in step one. So when you balance the reaction, 
it's a three uh, one is to three is to two is to two mole ratio now you start with the given amount and the unit that would be the yellow highlighted section so you write that down and the given unit is moles of h2o third step you multiply it by a factor at the bottom of it should be moles of h2o because you are going to cancel that out and this is the denominator now on the top is the numerator it's the thing you have to find which is moles of o2 now you put the mole ratios for each of those from the balance equation for o2 it will be 3 and for water it will be 2 now you cancel out the units and the values that get cancelled out or divided by each other so moles of h2o gets divided by each other and now the last step you're going to solve the math and find the answer and the correct units the units in our answer will be moles of h2o so you have to divide um, sorry you have to multiply these guys 3 times 4.82 and then divide it by 2. So that's what you have left behind. Now you are going to multiply these two first and you'll get 14.46 divided by 2 and your final answer will be 7.23 moles of H2O. Now um, pause this and try to do it on your own. Let's go to a second problem using the same equation and here is our problem this time I gave you the reverse thing earlier I gave you uh, water and asked you to find co2 moles this time sorry uh, I'm giving you uh, h2o and I'm asking you to find co2 moles so you're going to write the given value which is 3.06 moles of o2 and you are going to multiply it by a factor with moles of O2 at the bottom. You go from the top to the bottom always. Don't cut corners, do as I say. And then the top would be the one you have to find which is moles of CO2. And now you're going to put the mole ratios for CO2 it's 2 and for O2 it's 3. And now you're going to cancel out moles and moles. And you are left with this number. So you are left with 3.06 times 2 divided by 3. When you do the math for this, you get 2.04 moles of H2O. Now, um, this is all I'm going to do for now. Please do the exit ticket and the problem sets I have given you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.